beautiful, beautiful boy and great rock pony. I'm a 49 year business person in rock pony, 47 years full time, and uh, two years as far as military. But, uh, and, uh, and you wanted to throw that out there as a suggestion of something that maybe we can look at for our state. Interesting. Show of hands really quick. Which is better? Uh, would more tax credits? But there's a movement among states that says, you know, let's give credits because this is going to spur economic development. So there are two schools of thought. And I'm, I'm wondering if we did show of hands, who, who prefers credits? Okay. And who prefers long-term rate reductions? Well, I, that's kind of what I was alluding to is that, you know, these credits are usually short term. Sure. You know, they're for a fixed period of time um, and they run out after the initial investment usually or, or the initial time frame. Anyway, in Wisconsin, you would have got a break of maybe 30% on a cap gains. In Illinois, no break whatsoever. And when you're talking itemized deductions, uh, well, mortgage interest for a lot of people. So these individual owners probably have big mortgage. Uh, now, for years, Illinois has touted the idea that uh, our, we don't tax retirement income, whether it's a Social Security benefit, benefit, a pension, or an IRA, or you name it. Illinois does not tax retirement income. Wisconsin is gradually getting towards that area, but they aren't there yet because essentially they do still tax pensions. And there, if you have really low income in Wisconsin, you're much better off in Wisconsin than Illinois. There's home set credit, home back sort of and an individual pension credit in Wisconsin for low income. But we ought to tell our advantages. And now that was, uh, Illinois has a 5% income tax rate, not 3%. That is a major factor. I used to do uh, analyses every other year on comparing Wisconsin to Illinois at a family of four and that kind of stuff. Individuals, not business. But again, business owners still pay individual taxes. Anyway, for years, between 60,000 and 80,000 of income was sort of a push. If you had 60,000 or lower income, Wisconsin, you were much better off. And Illinois, if you had 80,000, you were pretty much better off. But now that they've got five. Maybe uh, a percentage, but I don't know how that would work in logistical, but anything, anything that they do to promote their business, signage, um, uh, websites, I mean, print at this point is still pointing people to the websites, but you know that would be helpful. For them. They want to do it; they just don't have the funds to do it, and that prevents them from growing. And they're wonderful work. Small business owners are absolutely wonderful. They're hardest working. Looking at me, I am recording. Could you just tell me what it is you do in your connection to small business owners? Sure. I'm in marketing and advertising. I'm a marketing consultant for CSI Media. We have three papers, um, the Janesville Messenger, the Stateline News, and the Walworth County Shopper Advertiser. And as a marketing representative, I work with a lot of small business owners. It is the most favorite part of my job, working with small business owners. They have a lot of issues making their business profitable. One of the issues they have is getting the word out. How do they let people know where they are so that customers will come in the door, so that they'll buy their inventory, so that they can hire more people? I mean, it's, you know, cause and effect. There's about a million different ways you can advertise, but it all costs money. And for the small business owner, that money is a huge difference. So uh, $200 will buy them a small ad one time, one place. That isn't going to do that to mm -hmm. drive the customers into their business. If there were some kind of a, a tax incentive, a tax credit, a, a break, something that would allow them to advertise you know, where their website is, how to get to their website, how to find their physical building if they have one, how to advertise all their services um, and what they're offering. That just exponentially grows their business, which grows more employees. You know, I, the small business owners have a lot on their plate. And Kathy, can you tell me what you thought about the roundtable today with the Secretary and Lieutenant Governor? 
Yeah, I thought it was very interesting. There were a lot of interesting comments. There were a lot of positive statements about uh, our taxes in Wisconsin that I didn't realize. I've oh, I'm sorry. We'll probably have to say this again. It happens. I'm just going to... Could you just tell me what you thought about the round table today? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, um, I learned a lot. It was good to hear all the different perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, I liked the presentation from the secretary. I didn't realize there were that many positives. Um, there again, marketing, advertising, public relations, getting that word out. And, uh, I was surprised by a few comments and different ideas that I didn't really think about, but I thought it pertained, everything pertained to everybody in the room, and there were so many different interests. There's really large businesses, there were small businesses, there were small business owners, there were large business owners, um, people from different states. It was very interesting. Excellent.